Hello everyone, I'm Randy and this is Rody Riders and uh, welcome back to my channel. Listen, uh, today we are all packed up with our suspensions technologies that I received in the mail and I don't know who sent them but we are heading over to Doc, Doc Holly's garage, the OR, and uh, we are going to proceed to put these babies on. So stay tuned for the cartoon. Just left the gas station. It's like uh, 8:45 in the morning here on a Columbus Day, Monday. I am uh, on 95 South, heading to see Doc Holly with uh, suspension technologies in tow. Today we're going to do the install. It's going to take me probably about two hours to get there. Um, traffic's light because of the holiday. And perfect perfect timing so yeah I'm uh, pretty excited here we um, have some new uh, suspension and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun that's all I can say so talk to you when I get there unless something happens in between okay guys I arrived here at Doc's OR we're going to take a walk inside and see what's going on inside. So hang on. Let's go see what's going on here. Let's go in and take a peek what's going in on here. Oh, look who we found. This is the Doc Holly himself. And look whose bike is up on the lift. Mine. <laughs> If you don't ride on H2 Performance well, fuck you. There you go. We got Rody up there. He's going to be supervising. Hopefully I get to turn some wrenches with Doc. I don't know much about doing this, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we got the compressor going, but yeah, guys, this is going to be a whole heck of a lot of fun. Um, also, we got another special guest coming down later on. He's on his way down. Mr. The one and only Corey. He'll be here shortly. But uh, we're going to get to it. So stand by. Okay, guys, the uh, rears are on. That took all of uh, about a blink of the eyes, and they are on. Thanks to Doc. 13 inch RTs. Beautiful. These axle caps, which I hate, are coming off. Yeah. I like, you know what I like? I like those hideaway. The, yeah, flush mount? Yes. I like those. So, these are, yeah, these are metric, right? Oh, I went bad, huh? No. Nice. You put them on Gorilla tight. No. You can't, you don't do those on those because you don't need to. Yep. So at, the tire comes off, at, the fender comes off. Yep. Fender, tire, brake calipers. Calipers come off. Yep. Yep. Too, uh, so. what the else? Pinch nut comes off. Okay, down here. You got this here? Yep. This is a learning curve for me, dude. I've taken, I've done brakes, so I know how to do that. They're getting those off. That's, yeah. I've done those, so. I'm just slow at it. But, you know, like anything else, if you don't do it yet, you, you don't have speed. Hey, if you're not first, you're last. Yep. That is absolutely true. two stools right there. It's starting to look like a bobber to me, man. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was you doing this, you know. I know, I was number one suspect. Yeah, yeah, what then, my suspect for? What did I do? Well, uh, uh, connections. It's it's the, the thought process behind who you know and I not yet. 
So bust, so bust and I got two sets. Mm -hmm. Corey got a set. I got a set. DDK got a set. I, I, I don't know who was doing this, but I'm gonna tell you right now. Somebody, somebody must have either hit a lottery yeah. or uh, next year I'm buying a Let's Roll dolly. Yeah. My big purchase this year for the shop was the uh, computer. Oh, the uh, the tech. Yeah, digital yeah, tech. Digital tech. Yeah. I was it's telling my kid about box that. If you want to check it out. Right there on the on the bench. Yep. Free upgrades for the year. What happened here? Oh, I put that there because I had a, um, I had a um, thing for a camera. I have the camera facing me, and it has the, oh, okay. it has the automatic turn it on and off. Gotcha. I didn't want to scrape the crap out of the handlebars with it, so I just put some tape up there. I'm gonna take the cluster gauge out of here. I've, done, I've been there before. <laughs> that I have done, so I know how to do that. Yeah. Um. So for guys that have never seen this before, you yeah. get a little soft look at it. Harley yeah, Davidson. Yep. Can you make this any harder? Uh, and it's off. The reason why we're taking this off to get to the top triple tree bolts right here. And it's the same size Allen socket you would use for your front fender. Just an FYI. I see what you do. So you put it back in so you do not lock the handlebars. Yeah, lock the handlebars. I see what you, that makes a lot of sense. I try to make sense every now and then, you know? That's a little tech tip right there. Now we're going up. You were so quick, I didn't even see you take that off. Being efficient. Didn't even see you take it off. I like to work efficient. I'm going to get on the other side and show you something here so you guys realize you did not take off the axle cap on this side. There's no need to. Nice having the right tools for the right job, you know? That I don't have. So that is why I am here. Yeah. Get off of that grease. We'll clean that up, put some proper stuff in there, which is anti-seize. Yep. All right. 
It looks like Doc has done this one too many times. <laughs> Never too many. <laughs> so these are, are these what the those bolts called pinch bolts up there? Or? Yeah, it's a pinch bolt on the upper. There's one on the upper triple tree, and then there's two on the lower triple tree. So we'll in here. Yeah. Secret is when you go to loosen the last one, grab the, sh the fork link because guess what? It's gonna drop. And out she comes. And a seal driver. I just <clears throat> lost all that. Something Tweedle needs to get. So is that a crush wash it is? That no, that that's is? a snap See? ring that holds the okay. your, your seal in. Okay. This here loosens up preload. Don't take it out yet. Put it back in by a couple threads. And you know you're good because it won't come apart. Face down in the bucket. And this gets messy. Gotta be careful, that thing will fly in, huh? Oh, this Harley shock fluid stinks. Yikes. How many miles you got on this, Rody? Uh, 32,000. Yeah, you're overdue. To me, you're overdue for a fluid change anyways. Yeah. So, well, I, I don't know if they have been changed yet. It doesn't look like it, to be honest with you. No, because if you go to Harley Oof, to service it, they say it's 50,000 miles to 100,000 50 to 100, miles for fluid change. There's the stock tap out spring in the bottom half of your fork assembly. And you're in your fork assembly. All that not reusing. Go on. That separates that easy. Not reusing the OEM or reusing the fork seal. I need a rag. That's filthy. So the only thing that's being used is what on this here? What's that? The only, only thing that's going to be reused is what on these? The slider and the leg. The slider and the leg, that's it. The slider and the leg. Wait, a, that does stink though, huh? Well packaged. Yes, it is. For shipping, which is nice. Now, do they include fluid with this? Yes. Oh, only there six it is. ounces per not... fork leg. There you go. You got two. Two containers. And what are we uh, taking out of the package right now? The top out spring and the bottom collar. Top out spring goes on. The 
just like that. This goes into the leg. Just be fair warned, it is a little messy with working with it. A little? That's an understatement. Yeah. You have plenty of rags. Now we're gonna set the bushing and then the washer. That is a nice tool to have if you're gonna do a lot of these shocks. Oh yeah. And they're not bad, they're like $80, $90 each. And they come for different sizes. Brand new fork seals. There's the pot number. If you have a, what's this for, 2020? Actually, they go from... 14 to... Yeah. 14 to current. 14 to current. That's the number right there. That's the seal. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be Mrs. Dr. Harley. Hello. Hello, Mel. It's, it's nice in here. It's hot in here. That's because you're hot. No, I'm there actually running around the green shaft right now that I'm keeping the cat out of the garbage. Mm. It's like, oh. I'll show you guys a secret how to fill six ounces of fluid now into the shock. What I do is I pull it to one side to expose as much on what here as possible. And I use the shock body as like a waterfall effect to get the oil in there. And you're not going to get it all in right away because it, it will be air bound. So just like we all practice since puberty, <laughs> to bleed, bleed it down. And if you spill a little, no big deal, just wipe it up. Because it will attract dirt and everything on the seal, so and that will ruin your seal. So if you don't wipe it up and you leave it on the bottom, you will end up with a problem of leaky fork seals in the future. And you can actually hear the air bleed out. Just like I just made a mess. So we'll have to clean all that up. As we are sitting here, Mr. Noggin is calling me actually. He's probably not gonna come. Hey, he's calling me back again. I'm gonna pause this. So I got that. See, this is the pot I forgot about too. So now you gotta take out the clip. What do you call that? Retaining, right? Yeah, it's a just a retaining clip. clip. Yep. It's nothing special, nothing extraordinary. Okay. 
So all that does is hold the seal from coming out. Turn the heat off. I figured you're warm enough yeah, for now. I'm fine. Dude, I drove here. It was cool. Yeah. Always, it was off. So now, if you didn't, if you didn't, so this is without the, the preload on the spring. Right. You can see where the spring is. It's right here. Yep. And you need to compress that all the way down. And there's the spacer. Yep. There's the spring. And you dig up. Nasty fluid. There is the collar. The collar. Yep. Need to get some fresh rags. Might as well leave all these tools out when Corey gets here. Yeah. He'll be using. <laughs> he will be using the same tools. <laughs> he knows how to do it, correct? Find out. Tear plastic bags with oily hands. No. You don't want to cut yourself either. So now we take our top out spring. That slides on here just like that. Okay. So now this goes in here just not, like that. Now that I've seen it twice, it's pretty, it's coming to me now. I, I'm, I'm, the collar goes right here. So we'll turn this up, upside down. Oop. Yep, turn the collar. Wipe it off, I don't want any dirt or contaminants in there. Collar goes there like that. Take our happy fork leg. It's so happy. Goes right there. Okay. Just like that. Put our bolt in. And you tighten it up. Now on an older model, which like a... Uh, now we take your old seal. Got a new, new one in. New now, seal. is there is there that seal? Is there a certain way that goes yes. in? Yes. If you look here, you'll see a small spring that goes down. That holds it tight against the fork uh, too. Right here, you see that spring? Yep. All I right. see the spring inside. That it. goes down. down. There's no Facing spring down. on the top side. And that's how you know which way these go in. That's, that's a very good thing to know. You can't put them in upside down. They will fit, mm -hmm. but they just won't work. Steel driver? Steel drive. Snap ring. All right. Brody in the house. Getting Rod his suspension. Ro Rody getting schooled by Doc and Yoa. Yeah, once you see it twice. Don't worry, the patient will survive. I I hope so. It might be a little fucked up again, but it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, can I put this behind you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, what if you're back here? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. When we didn't get back there, you okay. 
Guess what? I can't put that on here. <laughs> but that is funny. Why not? He's gonna get demonetized. They, they did it. Hey. Why not? They did it in. You uh, big Ted. asshole. You big asshole. They, they did it in Ted. <laughs> they did. Family guy makes fun of everybody. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's gonna hurt. Wipe away. You can't. Can't do it. Nope. Nope. Well, you can't, just the fluid won't stay inside. Mm -hmm. So how much of that fluid do you put in? The whole bottle. Vetra Technologies gives you two bottles. It's yeah. six ounces a piece, and that's what goes into the fork leg. It's six ounces in each fork leg. Yep. All right. Just like puberty. Yep. That's not called a puberty blocker. <laughs> Rody, I can't guarantee you though the patient will not be the same as when it came in. I think the patient's going to be better. What would you be your, your your prognosis about this patient? Well, I'll tell you what. If you don't like the suspension. You can come back, I'll put your stock stuff back in, and uh, leave me this. Mm -hmm. I can always that's, find it a, a loving home for it. That's enough said. <laughs> yeah. Yep, she's a squeaking. So when you um when you go and put that on the press, what's that? Just hey, just presses it down. It's all the all, all the all spring. The, no, because what's it do? The, it compresses the spring. Yeah, so like to start the threads between the uh the fork and the threads. You've got to mm -hmm. compress this down so right. we can thread it in. That's right. Two ways you could do it. You can hold this up and try and push down and thread, and try to or I could bring it to the drill press and make my life a lot easier mm -hmm. and work smarter, not harder. Right. I know your Marines right. always believe in smash it and blow it yeah. up before you do anything. Right, and then we fix it later. Yeah, then you fix sort it later. Sort it out later. We don't have no finesse. Well, you do when it comes to cramps. True, <laughs> true. Only green ones. Some of, some of them like purple. Uh, yeah, some that's, like that's, red, some like pink. That's that's the new Marine Corps. That's the new Marine Corps? Mm-hmm. The purple and the pink. Are you telling me the new Marine Corps is running sports arrests? Yes, they are. Or is that the Navy? They got, they got a, well, it could be the Navy, too, but I think the uh, the Marine Corps, the Navy, the Air Force, they're all riding sports arrests these days. That will be changing shortly. Give it another year, you'll see that change. He's still squeaking. Yeah, well, I'm bleeding it up. Yeah, uh, you can hear it. Yep. Is... The air. You can hear the air in there. Yeah, it's out. It's getting the fluid down in this portion of the fork and between here and here. So it has to go past this. Yep. That's trying, it's trying to get That's past valving. that. Right. All right. So. For well, everybody out there, this is makes life easier if you're doing a lot of these. I would suggest trying to. Hopefully, Tweedle's yeah. do, doing something like this with Dan. If yeah. not, good luck. Yeah. That makes life a lot easier. You need to have the proper tools, I guess. Well, huh? this isn't the right tool for the job. No? No. This is uh, improvise, adapt, and overcome. Something your Marines know a lot about. Yes. That, 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 uh, Wasn't that like the motto of the Marine Corps? Yep. The true. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a true statement. Guys, don't forget to go check out H2 Performance. For all your uh, suspension technology needs. And Rody 
Riders on YouTube and Instagram. Done for now. Until Corey shows up. So, Doc, unfortunately, I don't believe I got this recorded at last time, so we're going to do the reverse. Pinch balls up the top. How do you like that tie down I got on there? I like those. Yeah. They got them for the rears, too. I got. I, I was going to purchase them. Yeah, Suspension that. Technologies has them, actually. Yep. yep. So how do you know where to, on the new ones, how where to put the seat up top like that? Just feel, just feel it. But they just go up a little bit, just a tiny bit. All these, uh, everything on this bike has a spe uh, spec for torques, right? Yeah. Do those get, these get torqued? There is a torque for them. Yeah, so yeah. I don't like it because it's kind of loose. Yeah. So you do, you do the dock torque on those? Mm-hmm. The experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Since there's you, two, do you know what the do you know what the exact talk? No, I can look it up if you want me to. And just so people will know that what it would be if they were going to do this themselves. Probably so about 140 inch pounds. I could look it up and add it in there. Oh man, we got to take it all apart. It's crooked. Yeah. <laughs> that, that would be funny. That's funny. That's recorded too. That's great. You got. I, I got you on the uh, 360 on that. That that's awesome. People are like. There will be people like. What is going? Why is that doing that? Da -da -da. Somebody say. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's uh, like, he's got to take it apart because it's crooked. Oh, that's funny. Doesn't make a difference. So you, there is, when you put that up, is there a stop on it or no? No. Well, yeah, it would be the, the handlebars. So, here we go. That's amazing that those pinch bolts pull that in now. Yep. From popping and sliding up. All that torque, there's so much torque on that. That is crazy. One lower and one on the top. Two lower, one top. When you tighten one on the lower, go to the other one because it will loosen up. Yep. That thing's ending in and out. If I watch the, oh, that's the uh, 360. 360. Yeah, it's probably shut off. Yep. It, we've been doing this more than 45 minutes. I think that last 45. Yeah. Yeah. I've been taking my time too, so. Well, I'm also learning here too. That's and you're teaching somebody is watching this. Okay, now we got to clean your axle mm -hmm. and put some anti seats on there instead of grease. 
Now, the spaces, right, for the wheel spaces? Yep. There are lines on those. Right. Which way do the lines supposed to face? Up. Doesn't matter. It don't matter. Nope. It, not in, it, it, it doesn't it's matter a if spacer. it's... spacer. It's the same thickness from one side to the so other. It's the no... same width one side to the other. Yeah. What these lines tell them at the factory is ABS, non-ABS, touring, soft, uh, soft tail. That's all those lines That's, mean. Okay. Because that was a, a lot question. of debate on that, and that came right from Harley Davidson. Okay. On the but assembly line. That's why I'm asking, because I know that um, that question has been brought up several times um, in dealers, you know, in the dealers. Oh, I put, I see you there uh, the other way around, or they're not the same as my friends, or, mm -hmm. you know, so. It means there's, nothing. Okay, there you go. You heard it well, from. Well, to us, it means nothing. To yeah. the people on the assembly line, it means a lot. Mm -hmm. Down in New York, PA. Right. But my practice is I put them facing in. Okay. ABS sensor. Yeah, I never saw one. That's, that's what it is right there. When you put them in, you put them back, you know, put them on the wheel together, roll the wheel in between the forks. That's the only way you get them both in there. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't matter if it's front or rear. Believe me, I learned that lesson. Anti-seize. A little will do you a lot. Yeah, and that stuff is messy. You touch that, it will get all over the place. So all you need is a little bit of light, light coat. You don't need to bathe it in it. I've seen a lot of people give it a, a anti-seize bath. <laughs> she is. Right. Here, Brody. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like I said that stuff gets so everywhere. It just finds yeah. itself. It, yeah, it, the the anti seed that stuff. You man, for some reason it starts crawling all over the place. Now here's a tech trip. Yeah, tech. this here could rotate any yeah. which way it wants. So before you tighten your axle, put your this caliper on. Yeah. By the way, how's my brakes look while you're in there? They look like brakes. You were talking about pads? Pads, yes. They look great. Beautiful. That's because I don't brake. You mean the chicken lover? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't brake. Now with this bracket where it's supposed to be, get the right rotation for your ABS sensor so it won't bind or break or anything like that. That is a good tech tip. Nori's gonna hate me for giving away all these pro secrets and tech tips. Yeah. <laughs> the MMI secret in the secret lab. I didn't go to MMI. The secret lab of MMI. I never went to MMI. Nori did. Yeah, Nori did. I did it. This is OJT, yeah. Oh, cool, you got some cool pictures of the city. I didn't, I was too busy like walking. It's a nice picture. Brody, I think we'll be uh, road testing before Corey gets here. Yes, you will be. I want to see what you think about these compared to what's on yours. Because I'm interested I, to see too. I'm, I'm not going to know the difference because I've never ridden, ridden on any. 
I'll tell you what, yeah, sure. when I take this for a road test, you could jump on mine, you could feel the black hills, mm -hmm. and then when you go home, you'll see the difference between the yeah. back hills and the RT. That's right, I could do that. And I feel the cam in there too. <laughs> What's that? And you cam? got the cam in, I feel that well, too. You might not want to do that because mm. then you'll be yeah, I know. getting money. Perhaps, you might be right on that. Which, we've talked about this, and uh, that's there. No. Stay tuned. That's all I can tell you. Stay tuned. So all he's doing is the same thing on the other side, except the other side. There's only one ABS sensor. It's on one side, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Lining that. Oh, almost got Falling it. for your roading. Yeah. You sure are. Uh... You get away. What's the difference between a blue jacket and a yellow jacket? No jacket. A green jacket. I, the one of the guys I ride with, he's definitely allergic to them. I'm not. I just don't want he, um, he has he has to tell me where his epi pen is so I can make sure that if he gets stung, I'm whacking him with that thing. All right, now we'll just All work right. on those. Um, Reflectors. We got time. I mean, Christ, we're yeah. going to be here for another hour or so. So we are going to remove these to clean up the look of this punch down tubes. Will be gone. A lot of people use a uh, fishing line. Yep. Do that. I like my my fingers, so I don't use fishing line. Yep. Fishing line and heat guns. I use a heat gun and a plastic scraper with a little bit of uh, goo gone. Mm -hmm. Let that set up. Meanwhile, I'll put the Fender on. That is awesome. Fender time. Boy, it's starting to look like a bike again. Well, that's the front end. That That is so much better, the way they did these fenders compared to the old ones. Oh my God. The pre rush ones. Oh, those things are like horrible. Oh, why did they do that? I have no idea. That was like ridiculous. Well, they're trying to clean up the forks by having less visible bolts. Yeah, what? It totally wasn't functionable. A lot more corrosion because we live close You're to the ocean. salt water, yeah. Yep, we are here in the, here on the, you can hear it. Here on the coast, you will get corrosion. Oh man, this is unbelievable. I am on Doc Holly's bike. Holy shoot. This is great.
great. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs>
for stage two, huh? <laughs> the only thing I got with it is the clutch. Because I had the gloves. If I didn't have the gloves, because my the gloves are fucking me up. But uh yeah, that oh that's that's insane. That is that is that's only a stage two. I know, but that that's like and it's not I, dino tuned either. That is fucking crazy. I gotta clean that bike. It looks disgusting. Yeah, it is disgusting. That 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 doc that that's yeah. holy shit. I'd have a lot of fun with that. Just That's our touring bike. That's the slow touring bike. <laughs> That'd be fast to me. <laughs> that's the Yeah, that's I wanna go near that. Yeah. That that's that would be like just way too much for me, man. <laughs> 